So you're walking home and you see this cute, adorable little cat in a box. You want to take the cat home, but on the box it says, do not take this cat home. What would you do? What is going on, TFG Squad? My name is Brandon, and welcome to Do Not Take This Cat Home. A bunch of you guys asked me to play this game in the comments. I looked it up, and I saw this adorable little cat. It reminded me of my cat, Roxy. So I downloaded the game, and here we are. I'm gonna hit start. We're gonna jump right in. You're not having a great day as usual. Well, this is not off to a good start. This is off to a terrible start. Oh, great. It's the first time in a while that you felt like going out, but in the middle of your walk, it starts to rain. Typical, but maybe this is just a sign that you should have stayed home today. Yeah, you can always try again tomorrow. You turn to head home when you hear a meow. It already sounds adorable. Huh? What was that? There are only a few people around on the street. Makes sense due to the increase of missing persons around the area recently. Well, that and the weather. Curiosity grinding your steps, you follow the sound to the entrance of a dark, dingy alleyway. You timidly enter the alley and walk forward. The ground dampened by rain makes your steps sound louder and more confident than you actually feel. There's the meow. Wow, that is, that is a loud cat. That is a cat that wants some food and water. Finally, the sound source comes into view in the cold, dim light of the alley. At the end of the alley, in a big cardboard box, a cute, adorable little cat. It's a cat! Huh, guess that should have been obvious. It's an interesting looking cat. Its pretty yellow eyes shine like gold among the dark sea of its black fur. Oh, it looks sad! I mean, it's literally raining. This cat has adorable big yellow eyes. I gotta take it home. It puts its paws up on the edge of the box and looks up at you. Oh man, it keeps meowing at me. You look around the alley with a small frown. Who leaves cats in cardboard boxes these days anyway? Wouldn't they just jump out and leave the box eventually? Hmm, the cat doesn't answer you, obviously. It also doesn't do as you suggest and leave the box. It's just looking at you as if waiting for you to make the next move. Oh, here we go. This is where the game begins. So I have two options. I can not take the cat home or I can take the cat home. Well, now I want to know what happens if I, if I do either option. Uh, which, by the way, if you guys want to see more of this awesome game on the channel, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel right now. I could come back and play this game again. Today, I'm going to take the cat home. You reach into the box and pick the cat up, holding it out in front of you. Why not? Cat meows at you. You're all alone and, well, I'm kind of in the same boat myself. So you bring the cat close. You didn't realize it was shivering until just then, but it slowly breathes easier and it presses into your chest. Why not stick together, right? At least for a little while. Cat's purring. All right. Why am I not supposed to take this cat home? I don't understand why I'm not supposed to take this cat home. It was cold. It's happy to see me. This is, it's a lovely story. You think a little while will probably be more like a day. You'll be responsible and take it to a shelter tomorrow. But for now, let's get you out of the rain, okay? Cat's happy. Cat is very happy. You stop by a small local pet store for some cat food and then head back home. After locking the front door and placing the cat on the floor, you watch for a moment as it curiously explores the new environment. So, funny story, when we got Roxy about three years ago now, we put Roxy in our house and Roxy did the same thing. She walked around the entire house, she smelled every corner of our house, and eventually just fell asleep on the couch. So let's see what this cat does next. Leaving the feline to its own devices, you set about making the both of you some dinner. I really hope I'm not eating cat food. I really hope I I'm making myself normal food and this cat some cat food. You take out the can of cat food and open it with the tab on top. You put some cat food on a saucer and click your tongue to call the cat over to you. It perks up at your beckoning and rushes over. It looks at the plate of food and completely ignores it. Okay, okay. Here we go. Now I'm starting to understand why I should have left this cat out in the rain. This cat is starving. Who knows how long it's been abandoned in that cardboard box. Dude doesn't want this food. Dude wants human food. 
It wants like a chicken, uh, a grilled chicken breast with some salmon on the side. Apparently, cat food is not good enough for this cat. Which, by the way, we need to name this cat. I'm gonna name it, uh, Francis. I don't know, that's a terrible name for a cat, but I already said it, so we're going with Francis. Not hungry, I guess. You try not to let it annoy you. The cat doesn't understand the concept of money to appreciate that you spent your hard-earned cash on it. All right, now I'm getting <laughs> now I'm getting mad at the cat because I bought it cat food and it doesn't want to eat it. You know what? You could just put it in the refrigerator and try to give it to the cat later. You don't have to get upset at the cat. You decide that you have enough ingredients for a sandwich. Bread, toast it, mayo, mustard, spread. Turkey and cheese and lettuce perfectly placed. To oh. What happened? What just happened? Why am I saying ow? Did the cat just bite me? You wince as you cut your finger on the knife while slicing a tomato. Okay, it has nothing to do with the cat. Um, I already assume that this is an evil cat because of the name of this game. So I'm blaming the cat, but I just cut my own finger with a knife. Stupid. You feel a little embarrassed for such a blunder and sigh, tossing the knife onto the cutting board. You're about to head to the bathroom uh, for a bandage when the cat hops up onto the counter. It sniffs the knife and meows almost pointedly at you. Okay. So this cat wants my turkey sandwich. I see what's going on. Haha, <laughs> don't worry. I'm all right. It's just then you watch as the cat starts to... The cat, oh gosh, lick it lightly, but enthusiastically at the blood on the knife. Okay, this cat has been in my house for about three minutes and 47 seconds, and it's already eating blood. Okay, I got a bad feeling. It is a black cat after all. Although as a kid, I had a black cat named Shadow, nicest cat you'll ever meet. You're so shocked that by the time you come to your senses, the knife has been completely licked clean. The cat sits back, staring at you. What? You feel a little uneasy. Sure, cats are meat-eating predators, but that was a little weird, right? Sure, you're no cat expert, but that was definitely not something an ordinary cat would do. I thought the cat wanted a turkey sandwich. No, no, no. The cat wants a Brandon sandwich, okay? The cat- Cat's meowing again. Oh, gosh. Well, regardless, you're not about to abandon a cat in need while it's still raining outside. Not after all your efforts. You were going to take it to a shelter tomorrow anyway. What's one night of awkwardness? Weird or not? It's just a cat. The rest of the evening, unfortunately, goes downhill from there. Even after covering up your fingers cut with a bandage, the cat keeps trying to lick at the wound. Okay. Yep. The cat has made its first attempt to eat my finger now, so that's that's just fantastic. While you're eating your sandwich, while you're cleaning up the kitchen, while you're trying to watch TV, you gently push it away every time. But you're starting to get worried at the strange behavior. Okay, this would be the point I would kick the cat out of my house. That might sound mean, okay? That might sound mean and cruel to kick a cat out into the rain, but I'm not getting eaten by a cat in my sleep, okay? I need to get my eight hours of beauty rest every night. I'm not letting this cat eat me while I'm sleeping. What if it's got a taste for blood and thinks you're food now? You're not sure what you'll do if it starts to get more aggressive. You keep thinking about the cat food sitting in the corner, untouched. Meow, meow. Cat's hungry, won't eat cat food. Wow, cat's getting aggressive now. Ugh, come on, enough already. You shove it away a little more forcefully this time, out of annoyance. You feel bad immediately, but before you can do anything, the cat meows sharply at you and dashes off around the corner and into the hall. You sigh deeply. At this point, you're just worried that it's going to take a bite out of you in your sleep. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, man. I I'm going to be awake until I get this cat out of my house. Maybe a vet will have an idea on how to calm it down. You can only hope. But you don't have many other options left other than tossing the cat out into the rain. After finding the number of the local vet, you pick up your landline and... Oh gosh, here we go. The lights just went out. Okay, great. Just rain. Rain must have knocked the power out. No, 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 no. That's Francis. That's Francis that just cut the power lines. I don't know how he did it. I, I wouldn't even know how to cut my own power lines if I had to. I, I don't know how Francis did it, but I'm certain that it's Francis. You check your cell phone only to find that it's out of batteries. Okay, now Francis knows how to drain cell phone batteries too. This is freaky, man. You must have forgotten to charge it before leaving out earlier. No, no, you didn't. 
The outing had been so spur of the moment that it had no doubt messed up your usual routine. You grab a flashlight and turn it on. It's quiet. It's too quiet. Did the rain stop? But then, why did the power go out? You look outside. The sky is pitch black. What time is it? You turn to check the clock. Oh, no! Look at that clock! Look at that clock! It says 666! It says kill! Oh, no, I got a bad feeling about this. The cat sits on top of your digital clock staring at you. Thinking now, you realize the clock shouldn't be working at all if the power was out, but the numbers are lit up. You want to run, but you're afraid of letting the cat out of your sight. You consider tossing the cat out after all. I told you. I told you, man! I would- The second I saw that cat licking that knife, dude's gone! Dude is out of my life! In fact, I have a couple friends that are obsessed with cats. I probably would have called them and had them take the cat. Yeah, its pupils are large, round, inky pits. Oh, gosh. The flashlight flickers. Oh, I don't like this. Cat's gonna be gone. Cat's gonna be gone. Yep. And the cat is gone. Fear immediately grips your mind. You back away from the clock and feel as if air itself coils tightly and abruptly in response, like a predator prepared to pounce, but waiting, waiting for your next move. You're, but you're afraid to move. You're afraid to even take a breath, but you can't stay still forever, right? Man, whoever wrote this game is like a, a, a wonderful poet and author. This, this is really fun. This is a fun game. It's a little different. It's a lot of reading and I'm not very good at reading, but I hope you guys are enjoying this. This is fun. You can't stay here. You have to run. With this thought, a sudden, primal instinct awakens within you, making you tear yourself into a hasty burst of movement, of action. But you're still weak from the fear's grip on your mind. Your legs tangle under into your haste, and you fall onto the ground. Oh, no. What did I just fall on? Why did the screen go red? A sharp pain explodes into the center of your foot. Did I step on the knife? Did the cat put the knife on the ground right where my foot was? At first, you think you've broken your ankle, but something warm and wet trickles down the length of your, of your foot, pulling underneath it. You hear the sound of metal scraping on tiles after skidding across the floor as if it had been kicked. Thoughts of how, when, who, what in regards of your inexplicably open door screech to a halt as your brain finally identifies the metallic object you've been staring at. It's your kitchen knife and still tinted red from your earlier blunder but that's not right. No, 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 that's not from the earlier blunder because the cat ate that blood. That's from your foot because you just stepped on it. Wasn't it completely licked clean by the... You gulp dryingly at the pain in your foot. Barely have time to wonder how the knife ended up on your living room floor to be stepped on instead of resting on your cutting board in the kitchen where you left it. Oh, I see cat eyes. I see cat eyes. When you spy something in the darkness just beyond the knife... It spies right back at you. A pair of glowing golden eyes come forward as the cat emerges from the shadows into the light from your doorway. But you're already on your feet and out the door. Oh, I'm, I'm getting the heck out of there. I'm getting out of there. You run rather limp down the empty street. The sky is black and bleeding red, but there's a strange light emitting from nowhere that casts everywhere else in white. The houses, the trees, the road, even you, everything except your blood. You can just barely glimpse the bloody imprints your injured foot leaves in your wake with every impact it makes with the ground. But you can't stop, you don't stop. Not when the shadows grow around you. Not when you feel the gaze of eyes all over you. Not when the road ahead of you is darkened by a long shadow of something behind you. Even then, you don't stop running because if that's the cat right there ahead of you, then what in the world is behind you? Oh, here we go. Look behind you or keep running. Oh, no. I don't know what to do. Last time I decided to take the cute cat home and it tried to kill me. Oh, I'm going to look behind me. Maybe it's my neighbor trying to save my life. That's what I'm going to go with. Uh-oh. Huh? Interesting. How very, very interesting. Ending zero. It begins... What does that mean? Oh my gosh, I got ending one out of 40? Check out my other YouTube channel. It's called TFG Vlogs, and I will see all of you in the next video.